Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Now I know we're part, it's all part of the same uh, show now. We literally run right the way through. We don't stop, we don't change channels, we don't do anything like that all stays within because sometimes like during the birthday uh, Stuart did a yarn lane show in the middle of a day didn't it wasn't it say that again oh we are live on the yarn lane facebook page as well if you want to go there but i've stayed on the sewing street one because we're on the sewing street one as well aren't we yeah 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 we're all on there so that's fine but all the product is on sewing on the sewing street website not the yarn lane website we always used to keep it completely separate but now it's all just to make it simpler for everybody we're all going to be on here together right so Stuart launched all hello again Stuart you have nice hello I had a lovely little break thank you good little... did you pop to Greg's I didn't know I was sitting chatting oh yes. to Anne-Marie from Hunky Dory oh very nice who I know is over on Hobby Maker later and very it was so nice. lovely to have a catch up oh yeah but so, so when she was here we did the great big box which we haven't got available today but this is the prize if any of you buy anything from today's yarn oh excuse me yarn lane show so if you buy anything it has to be something from the show so it could be the knitting needles the kits or anything of Stuart's hey what what yeah you could have bought it at eight o'clock this morning it's not if you bought it at 12 o'clock you bought it early on pre-order anything like that anyway Stuart had a complete and utter sellout right so what we've decided to do this time is bring you the yarns 
on their own to start with. Um, I'm going to just do this one very, very quickly first because it's about to sell out. This is Guatemala. I'll get Stu, Stuart to it. Stewie. I'll get Stuart to, um, to talk us through the whole system. But it's 7.95. Oh, I can't put it down. It's 7.95 for 100 grams. This is called Guatemala. Beautiful. And then, oh, I love that the, on the side of the um, sleeve, it's actually got how it knits up and everything. So it's 7 95 for that ball. It's a 75% super wash wool, 25% polyamide. There it is. Right, before I take you through all of them, just talk to me through the inspiration of where this all came from sure. and how it happened and things. Well, I've always been a knitter. Um, right from like three, four years old, mum taught me. So I've always loved knitting and that's always been there You're in the You're not even background. looking at it. Well, it's only... <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah. It's only knitting round and round. That's the great thing about socks. I think a lot of people think that they're really complicated and hard. Yeah, yeah. Although lots of you have been getting in touch with me in the last week to say, I finally decided to have a go at socks. I've got my, I've got my um, Colours of the World yarn. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. It's fine. It's good. I like it. I'm halfway through. I've made my first sock. I'm just turning the heel. It's wonderful. Brilliant. But yeah, um, I've loved knitting socks for probably 10, 11 years. And, um, and I also love to travel. And you know me, I love colour and I'm inspired by colour and the colours of the world. So um, yeah, putting together a yarn range, I was lucky enough to work with Stylecraft. Mm -hmm. And we put together the range. I created the colours and the patterns, and um, Stylecraft developed this wonderful, soft, springy, gorgeous yarn. And um, there we are, colours of the world, stripe up your life. There she is. <laughs> who? Who? What? What? No one wears flip flops like Jelly ha Jelly Jelly, jelly Harrywell. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let me let me just take you through because they're all absolutely flying out. So I need to take you through what uh, there's only two left of Guatemala now. Two left of Guatemala. Let me take you through the colour before we do any knitting or anything. I'll show you everything that's for sale and then we can just um, indulge in the knitting and the chatting and everything like that. Where would you like to go next? Kyoto. That's this one. Half dog. Oh, actually, what we should do is show you the finish. Yeah, Stuart will hold say. up the finished, mm -hmm. um, the finished thing. Ooh. That's Kyoto. And that's the yarn. Uh, Stuart, I've avoided DPN all my knitting life. Double pointed needles, thank you. 40 years, but inspired me, and I'm able to do this now. Thank you from Gaynor. Gaynor, I'm so proud of you. Well done. Well done. Well, the thing is, John, you, you're not knitting on five needles. You're, only, you're still only knitting on two. The other needles are just holding your stitches till you get to them. So they're just keeping them safe, really? They're just keeping them safe. You just ignore them until you get round to them. them. Well done, Gaynor. Gaynor. I'm really pleased, really pleased. Right, so I'm Kyoto. Next. Okay, then I'll do this one next then, which is your... Oh, hang on. New Mexico. New Mexico. There it is there. New Mexico. This is Cat, producer Cat's favourite. So there's the yarn, there's the knit, and Stuart's got the sock. Ooh. Oh, those are my colours. Gorgeous. And actually, the shawl I'm wearing is made using one ball of... Uh, New Mexico and one ball of Rio Grande. Oh, really? We'll, get to that. we'll talk about that in yeah. a second, right? Brilliant. Then the next one I've got here is called Sapa. Where's that? Where's Sapa? Sapa. It's a mountain in Vietnam. Oh, there you go. We've not only. Uh, I was going to say we're not only this, but we're that. We're neither. Never mind. <laughs> Beautiful colours. This one really lovely. This one is Sapa. Beautiful. I'm so confused on each screen. I don't know which one to look at. Uh, me right. neither. I haven't worked it out yet. You can read that one because I'm not near enough sure. to the screen. Sure. Hi, Stuart and John. Does the sock pattern come with the ball of wool when you order? I really want to knit these socks. Kim in Hertfordshire. So, everyone who orders while stocks last gets a pattern for the yes, sock, Yes, gets for they? free. Yeah, gets the pattern for free. Yeah, if you don't get the sock pattern or you want to, you know, start reading it and having a look through now, you can download the sock pattern from the Starcraft website. So if you go onto Starcraft and then go to Colours of the World, Stripe Up Your Life, 
Um, and then you will, oh, what was that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can download the pattern. And there are also videos. Brilliant, brilliant. So that's that one. Then we move on to Amazon. These are kind of, what'd you say, Kat? Oh, either way, the patterns are free. Either you either get one from us. If it's not in your parcel, it means we'd run out of printed up ones. You can get one from StarCraft. This matches your shirt, John. Oh, yeah. It's exactly the colours of Day. your shirt. Gorgeous. So you yeah. might be saying Amazon. I'm saying Ireland. For sure. Well, also, you know, um, when I was at the Stitches uh, show, a lady came up and said, what gorgeous Christmas colours. And I uh, said, yes, exactly. Beautiful yes, yes. Christmas colours. Yeah. And they are. But they are. But they're also Christmas, so you can wear, wear Christmas all year round. All year round. And then the last one is this one here called Rio Grande. Well, I don't know how, I wouldn't, wouldn't know how to choose, I'm afraid. Right, so if you buy one ball of yarn, yeah. what can I make? Okay, so, if, let's talk socks to start yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, one ball of yarn will make one pair of socks. Any size? Well, if you're making, I've made them for Charlie, mm -hmm. and he's a size 12, and I always end up with some left over. It doesn't mean little Charlie in the gallery. <laughs> he's, I mean, his feet look big compared to his little body, but they're not a 12. No, husband Charlie, he's got a size 12 feet, and um, I'm always slightly dismayed when he says, oh, you could make me a pair of socks, because it's a lot of extra knitting, yeah. but you've got <laughs> enough yarn. Now, if you were making, for example, say, like a size three and a size five, and maybe if if you did a contrast heel and toe, you could probably get two pairs, you oh, know, okay, depending okay. on the length of the leg and the, the foot. Um, but anyway, certainly a pair. Um, but you can also make things like berets, beanie hats, children's or adults. You can make things like these gorgeous um, wrist warmers mm -hmm. or, you know, your regular um, gloves you know, with five fingers and everything. Uh, you can make, you know, a pair, I mean, these wristlets probably get two pairs out of one ball. In I was going to say, would, that won't take up a hole. Yeah. No, you'd get two pairs of those. Or you could make something like a berry or a beanie. So these. And some wristlets, yeah. So, so this one, this is the adult, this is the adult beanie, which looks super cool on the model. Um, absolutely super cool on the model. And then this is the um, child's beanie. Yes. That this is the child's beanie. <laughs> yes. Stretched onto an Stretched adult onto head. Stretched onto yeah. an adult's head. So those are the beanies. And then we've also got the berets. So this is the child's beret. So that still takes a, a ball or less? Or less. Mm -hmm. I, you'd get the beret and some wrist warmers. Child, but child. Yeah, ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you'd get adults. Oh, okay, to be perfect. Fair, to be fair, and then this one, I just absolutely love this. That's oh, sorry, I'm just coming right yeah. up there. That's the um, adults beret, which I just think is gorgeous. And if you've never seen self-patterning yarn before, and you're wondering how on earth do I, what do I do? Is there lots of colour changes? Do I have to do something clever with the ball? You literally just knit it. You just knit it and the patterns appear as if by magic. It's such clever technology. Isn't it brilliant? And it's so motivating as well when you're knitting, I find, because I'm always thinking, I'll just do until the next set of checkerboards or I'll wait until I've done the yellow and then I'll go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. Um, and then the scarf shawl that I'm wearing, let me just show you, this is also a free pattern. Um, garter stitch asymmetric shawl right. this uses one ball of Rio Grande and one ball of New Mexico however you could mix and match other colors together and create your own color combo I right. mean personally I would love to do a version that mixed Amazon and Kyoto together Ooh, yes Mm. But now, how did you, how did you mix them? Did you just knit up one ball, knit up the other ball? No. So what you do is you cast on with one ball, okay, and you do the first two rows of the pattern. Right. So you back to the tail end, and then you leave that strand. Don't cut it off. You join in your second ball, and you knit two rows, and then you go back to the first two rows, 
second to oh, it. Oh, so you never cutting off it. or knotting no, or anything? you just take it up the side. And if you wanted to just make something like a really simple skinny or a wide garter stitch scarf, uh -huh. you could do exactly the same thing. You'd get those really cool patterns appearing. Yeah. I mean, even though sock yarn, self-patterning sock yarn, is designed to create the pattern on about 60 to 70 stitches, you can see in the beret that because the um, pattern runs, the colour runs, are really reasonably long, you still get it on a much bigger piece of knitting. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. And this week I saw the most gorgeous um, baby's cardigan knitted out of Rio Grande. Wow. And it looks so gorgeous. Oh, I can so imagine. children's clothes too. Mm. Yeah, baby and, and toddler clothes you can knit as well. It's just really versatile. Okay, I'll do the question first. Loving the show, what size needles would you need to make the socks? Right. So for your socks, you're going to use 2.5 millimeter double pointed needles. The, my pattern is for double pointed needles. Right. Now you can also use a circular needle. Right. Again, that would be 2.5 millimeter circular needle. Um, and you would use what's called the magic loop method. Right. Which I don't use, I use DPNs. So are your, are your um, instructions for this, your method? Yes, yeah, they're for using double pointed needles. And that uh, that's only in the sense that it will say, cast on this many stitches, divide them between four double pointed needles. Uh -huh. I mean, if you're doing magic loop method, you just keep them on the, the cable. Can you sew them on, can you knit them, sorry, can you knit them on normal straight knitting right, needles? Yeah, so you can knit socks flat right. and then seam them. Oh, okay. Um, not using this pattern, right. but if you have a look on the internet, you'll find patterns oh, for knitting but, but socks flat. people might have their own favourite oh, pattern yeah, for already, sure. might they? Absolutely. But the benefit of knitting them in the round, well, there's several. First and foremost, you don't have a seam. And not having a seam means they're much more comfortable to wear. Yeah, exactly. But also as well, for knitters, I reckon I could say with confidence that the vast majority of knitters would much prefer to knit than purl. We right. find it quicker, easier, just generally mm -hmm. we're in our comfort zone. And when you're knitting on circular needles, because the right side of the work is always facing you, you don't turn it. You're oh no, always of course you won't, knitting. No. Yes. You don't have to purl. The only time you have to purl is when you create the heel flap. Right. Which is something I'm going to show you in just a second. Brilliant. Can I ask about the composition? Because it's mm. not 100% wool, is it? No, and you don't want 100% wool for socks. Right. Um, socks obviously have to be hard wearing, and so the 25%, you say. Uh, I said polyamide. Polyamide. Is yeah. that how you pronounce it? I always call it polyamide. Oh, I don't know. Well, anyway, that. Well, how do you say it? How do you say it? I, have, I haven't got a clue. I'm, no, just, no, no, I'm no, making no. this up as I go along. Polyamide. <laughs> how do you say it? Polyamide. 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 I don't know. I don't know the right well, way of saying it, but that, that, it's that. It could be tensile, it could be nylon. Those are always added to sock yarns to create the strength that you need so you get really good wear mm -hmm. on things like the heels and on the balls of your feet. Um, so that sock yarn is comfy, cushions your feet, mm -hmm. allows your feet to breathe yeah mm -hmm. as such well we all know because yeah. i work at pavers we all know how much sweat we make on our feet in the afternoons but the amazing thing about hand knit socks is i find you do not need to wash them after every wear right you can wear a pair of hand knit socks for days and they are still soft springy odor free feel fresh how strange. And I, know, and I can see that look in your face. No, 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 because I'm, I'm, a fr I'm a real, I'm a real, like, oh, everything. Me I can't too. do that, wear them Me backwards too. more than forwards, wear them inside <laughs> out, that kind of thing. Totally agree with you, totally agree. But honestly, try a pair of hand-knit socks well, and if just someone see made how me fresh. Some, I might try Well, them. looky here, Kutch. <laughs> Let me see. Right, okay, I'll and so going. it's still all right to use that mix then, obviously, in berets and scarves and all that sort of oh, thing. Oh, gosh, absolutely, because you've got all the benefits of wool, mm -hmm. the comfort, the breathability, the naturally water repellent. Mm -hmm. I mean, great, perfect for hats you don't and see scarves. A, a wet sheet, of, you know, kind of... It doesn't get wet to the skin, no. no it just kind of, you know... Um, but yeah, absolutely. It's still soft and springy, hard wearing too. Mm -hmm. 
Hi both, I'm a lefty, learnt right knitting way. Watching Stuart, I've tried left way and four needles with success. Tension has improved. Thanks from hey, Leslie. Hey, Leslie, that's ace. That's so cool, it's really good. Yeah, you know, you can learn to knit a different way, even if you've been doing it for many, many years. Of course, of course. I, for four, the first 40 years of my life, I was a right-handed thrower, um, which is where you let go of the needle every single time you take a stitch and take the wool around and then grab your needle again and push it in and take your hand off like that. Oh. And, um, and I eventually I was doing a sample for a show and I thought there's no way I'm going to have it done in time I've got to knit faster than this and I made myself wind the yarn around my finger and start flicking around oh. so I keep a hold of the yarn and the needle all the time and it's so much faster wow right before we go any further lots of confusion over the pattern right these both these patterns are free patterns from starcraft we have a limited number of them we will be putting them in some of the parcels until we run out however they're completely from free from us because they're completely free from starcraft so if you go to the starcraft website go to yarns at the top Go head over the hill, colour the world. Stripe up your life. Stripe up your life. And then scroll. Patterns. Mid, are they all free? Are all those for free? So there's mid, oh. Mid, sorry about that. They're all free. Uh, there's mittens, hats, socks, everything. Everything is there completely and utterly for free. So if you don't get one of these in your parcel, don't get upset. Don't think, oh, I've missed out, I've missed out, because uh, you can just get it for... If you want to, if you want to, you could download it now and then be reading it so by the time your yarn arrives, you'll be able to go, oh, I'm getting straight on with it then. What are you saying, Cat, about Rio? New Mexico, there's only five left of New Mexico. How is Guatemala doing? Oh, sold out. Guatemala's gone. There's five of New Mexico left. Ten of Kyoto left. And then the other three are half stocks, half stocks of those. Right, OK, so um, I'll come to these in a minute. So can you give us a quick yeah. demo on your sock? Then? Yeah, absolutely. So what I've done now is I've broken for the heel flap. So when you come to do the heel flap, so you've been knitting round and round and round and never having to purl, and this is the one time you're having to purl. Because what I've done here, let me just show you, is I've put half the stitches onto one needle. Right. Okay? And that's going to create the heel flap. And that's the bit that goes down the back of the heel. The remaining half of the stitches are still on two other needles. See, I like to use four needles for my stitches and a fifth needle to pick with. Yeah. Some people use three and four. Oh, okay. But either works. So now I've got all my stitches that I'm working on on one needle, which means now I am going to be turning and sometimes knitting and sometimes purling. Mm -hmm. Now on the back of the pattern, my sock pattern, the back of the heel is plain knitting, okay? But I'm going to show you a different stitch that you can substitute if you like, and it's one of my favourites. I don't always use it, but it's one of my favourites, and it creates extra cushioning on the back of your heel and it's called eye of partridge right. stitch okay so what you're going to do is the first stitch you're going to with yarn at the back you're going to slip the first stitch and then knit the second stitch uh -huh. so slip one purl wise knit one so just put your needle in as if to purl but your yarns at the back and slip that stitch off and then oops and then knit so slip one knit sorry there we go knit one slip one knit one slip one knit one and i love doing this because it's quicker than knitting because uh -huh. you're slipping half the stitches so you're not actually knitting into every stitch you slip one you knit one and you're going to keep going like that all the way across the right side rows right now then when you get to your wrong side row so now I've got to turn my work right so now what I'm going to do is slip the first stitch 
So this time I've got um, the yarn at the front because I'm purling. And I'm now just going to purl every single stitch on the wrong side row. So it's like knit and purl really, just the knits a variation. It's a slip one, knit one. Now just be careful when you're purling back because the slipped stitch and the knitted stitch from the right side will sit very, very close side by side. And it's easy if you're not looking what you're doing to end up purling two together. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna keep doing that across. And what this stitch creates by slipping one, knitting one, you end up with these sort of elongated, almost like a rib down the back of mm -hmm. the heel. It's really soft and cushioned. So I'll work a few more rows and then I can show you how it looks. Brilliant. Um, someone's just said, oh, I've lost some messages, hang on. Um, just ordered my first yarn of Stuart's. Is there a sock pattern, please? Yes, Anne, you'll either get a free sock pattern within it, and if you don't, you can always download one from the Stylecraft website. Uh, Kerry says, is it possible to do these socks on circular needles? I can't seem to get round DPNs. Um, yes, you absolutely can. You'll use the Your method... Cat, cat's answering the question for you. And now, yes, Stuart, you can. Well, that's good. It just goes to show Cat was listening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yes, you can use the magic loop method. Um, I find circular needles for flat knitting mm -hmm. amazing. I use them all the time for knitting forward and back. Mm -hmm. I don't use long straight needles personally anymore. Um, but I really struggle with magic loop. I, I would say, Linda, persevere with your DPNs. Oh, hang on, that, that's Linda. Oh, no, sorry. that's a different one then. Sure, do you have any knitting books? When will your next knitting book be out? Love, John, and you, a modern day Mock and Wise breakfast yes. sketch. Well, yes. da -da, da -da, da -da. books. Don't you think? Books, yeah. books. Well, funnily enough, I was in London last week meet, meeting with my agents, mm -hmm. and who I've named the first two goats after. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, do they, they know? know? They know, they're thrilled. The goats are meant. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and actually I was knitting this sock while I was waiting for them to arrive and when Heather my agent came in that was all she could talk about and she said to me um, so sh your next book then should, we, should it be knitting should we do a knitting book do you want to do a knitting book next and I was like oh maybe I would like to do a knitting book yeah it's not going to be my next book that's already planned out, but yeah. yeah. That's not till 2024. I know, I know. <coughs> I would really, I'd love to do children's knits. Oh, okay. I'd love to do a book of children's knits. But yeah, thank you for asking. And um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm thinking about. But I mean, like you sock patterns from me and, and so certainly I could see I'll be doing more I mean, earlier on this year, I brought out a cable blanket knitting pattern, uh -huh. but that was like a sort of an exclusive for a club. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I will be doing more, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. Award-winning book writer now, isn't he, see? Oh. Well, thank you for bringing that up. That's right. <laughs> it's cat, not me. So I'm just carrying on yeah. with my Eye of Partridge stitch. Right. That sounds a bit kind of medieval, doesn't it? Really it really does, doesn't it? Oh, no, she thought of Alan Partridge, and I thought of a medieval banquet. Oh, did you? Yes. yes. Tonight I will be serving Eye of Partridge. Yes. Oh, Delicacy. no, there's errors on the Stylecraft website. Possibly too many of us trying to download the free pattern. Oh. Stick with it, Kate, stick with it. Yeah, 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 try tomorrow. Oh, Lynn says about your book, if you need sample knitters, just give me a shout. Oh, it would be a pleasure. Linda, thank oh. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Aww. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, with knitting? It is, um, it's a labour of love when you knit anything. Mm. You know, it's something to sit and really enjoy. And see, for me, knitting has always been kind of that uh, absorbing mindful mm. relaxing time you know I always knit when I'm on the train yeah I always knit when I'm sort of you know I don't know sitting alone in hotels or something like that waiting for something to start I'll get my knitting out and it's just a lovely absorbing thing to do but you can't make anything in a hurry no exactly <laughs> 
Uh, Stuart, your demos and simple explanations are wonderful. You've inspired me and many more people to knit socks for Amanda in Nottinghamshire. Oh, Amanda, that's really kind. Aww. Thank you. I'm on a bit of a mission, you know. Oh, yes. Uh, socks are so lovely to knit and they are actually quick. You know, they're much compared to a jumper. Well, exactly. It's all relative, isn't it? And like because you're not having to do any purling, yeah. For the most part, you know, they are a quick knit, and they're very satisfying. And I always say as well, uh, you know, my weight fluctuates, but my feet are always a size eight. Oh yes. You know, and I've knitted some really lovely things over the years, and I haven't done my tension square. I know, I know. Um, and things haven't fitted nicely, but socks always fit, mm -hmm. you oh. know? And and like, and even if I made a bit of a, you know, dog's dinner of something, like, you know, in a pair of boots, or wearing around the house, you know, so they're a really good knit, and they're impressive as well, aren't they? Oh yeah, totally. And everyone loves a pair of socks, but mm. you can also do it, like we say, hats, gloves, mitts, scarves, baby clothes, yeah. so just have fun with it. They knit to a four-ply tension. Look at that! I love the way now that you're about you're about to go into the checkered bit, yes. aren't you? Because it's the, th the the yarn is actually striped. Isn't that look. clever? Isn't that clever? It's so cool. It really is cool, and it's so brilliant when you start knitting with it, and it starts. I mean, let me just grab this, and can you see how? But also, even depending on, sorry, um, depending on which part of the sock, it sort of looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes it's a checkerboard, sometimes it's like an arrowhead, sometimes it's like a diagonal stripe. Oh, look, Stuart, John Stewart, you've encouraged me to persevere with DPNs and now I've cracked it. Thank you from oh, Elaine. Yes, John, it's Elaine. Elaine. Oh. oh, and also we had a message. You know, you said about your quilt earlier, about how you got off, jumped off the tube at Covent Garden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, apparently when they built the tubes, each station had a different pattern on the wall because a lot of people couldn't read the words oh, that's really so cool. that they knew if you got wrong pattern you got off at the pattern you, you knew, knew rather than so if you got off and it was wrong pattern you knew at the wrong station isn't that an interesting isn't story that, uh, brilliant, for isn't that it? message yeah. doing the first socks with new mexico great to see the heel demo as i was confused about that bit thank you so much for getting them started uh, from karen <clears> in <throat> bedfordshire you are so welcome now i'm gonna can i jump ahead yeah can do what you like I'm going to jump ahead because um, you would do that heel flap for, you know, a section. Yes. All right? I haven't done anything like as much, but no one wants to see me just standing here knitting back and forth. No, it's fascinating to watch because you just do it as so though you're not even doing it. Do you knit? No. No, we'll have to. Dawn, Dawn's just messaged in saying it's very full of mindfulness and John, you should start doing it. I agree. Let's get John knitting. All right then, knitting or crocheting? Do you do crochet? No, I can't really crochet. Well, very basically crochet. Okay. I can do a, a double and a treble and a, I can do a magic loop. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can oh, do a magic yeah, loop. See, so you're halfway there. That's Could I really crochet practice. with this yarn, Kat You says. can crochet with it, you can. I haven't seen anything crocheted with it as yet. Yeah, so I'll be really do. interested mm. to see. Yeah. Okay, sorry, carry on with what you're saying. Okay, so I was just gonna show, um, turning the heel okay is something that is often spoken about in hushed tones mm -hmm. and worried tones it's almost like the Voldemort of sock knitting you know you mentioned turning the heel I know I said it out loud you say the name at your peril and you talk about turning the heel at your peril but actually I'm going to show you there's nothing to be scared of so um, we're doing the heel turn all right so what i'm going to do i'm just i'm following my pattern now okay so i'm going to slip the first stitch oh actually bear with a second i need to do one more row and oh then, honestly and then let I'll me recap the arms while you do Sorry. that then right so guatemala sold out uh, kyoto sold out new mexico sold out what have I got left then here? So I've, n I've now got, oh no, that's New Mexico. Did the, sorry, wrong, that was New Mexico. This one is Rio Grande. Four left of Rio Grande, but how many people in baskets? 12 people in baskets. Then I've got Amazon. Got 15 of Amazon left and 
13 in baskets. Could you just pass me the Amazon one? Yeah, just because I think well. you just need to see Delicious, that made up. Because look how beautiful that is yeah. there. That'll be the next one I'll be knitting up, actually, Amazon. I really fancy a pair of those. How long does it take you to, how, if, so if you got the chain, say you, I know you drive here, but say you got the chain here, would you have a pair of socks made by the time you got home? Oh no, no. I mean, I'll, um, I'd knit a pair of socks in a week. Oh, okay. Of but dipping then, in and out. I was going to say, dipping in and out, not sitting yeah, yeah. down doing it. Oh, no, no, not knitting constantly, no. no. But I mean, I know, I, I was talking to a lady the other day who knits socks, like, she makes socks and sells them. Right. And she can knit a pair in a day, which I think is amazing. But if, if it's your job, Oh yeah, you, 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 you're, what, you're doing, still pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, so still that's quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, quick. yeah. That's right, quick. Right, okay. And then last but not least, we have got Sapa. Nineteen left, and how many baskets? Oh, 29, that's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. Right, are you ready for me? I am, I'm ready for you now. Go. Right, so we're on the wrong side. So I've got the inside of the sock facing me, the sort of pearl side. Uh -huh. So I'm going to show you how to turn the heel. So we're going to start by slipping one, and then I'm going to pearl 15 stitches. Okay, so one, I have to count two, three, four. This is so funny because every knitter will know that the gritted teeth five <laughs> six when somebody speaks to you i wasn't gonna speak seven eight <laughs> all right nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so basically you get sort of to the middle okay right and now what i'm gonna do is Pearl two together mm -hmm. to get two stitches onto your needle and pearl them together. All right, and then pearl one more, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to turn my work. Right. So I haven't got to the end of the row. No. But I don't need to get to the end of the row. Right. I'm going to turn my work. Okay. okay. So I'm going to ignore those last few stitches that are on that needle for now. Okay. So now then, my next row, I'm going to slip the first stitch, and then I'm going to knit three. So right. one, two, oops, three, and then I'm going to SSK, which means slip, slip, knit, okay? So I'm going to slip, slip, and then I'm going to knit those two stitches together. So I'm picking up both stitches with the left hand needle and I'm going to knit them together. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to knit one. And then I'm going to turn my work again. So I'm just working on the middle part of my stitches. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So my third row now, I'm going to slip one and I'm going to purl to the last stitch before the gap. Now, at the moment, that doesn't make any sense to anybody if no. you've never done this before. But let me show... Now, can I just show you... I don't know if you can get really close enough to see this. Can you see that there is a gap here? Yeah. Can you see that mm -hmm. gap? That's where I did that um, SSK. Right, that's the gap. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm purling to the last stitch before the gap. That's that one right there. Uh-huh. Yeah? So then I'm going to purl two together. So it'll be that one plus the one on the other side, other of, the side gap. of the gap. You got it, John. Yeah. See, I think you should be a knitter. Purl mm -hmm. two together. Purl one. And then I'm going to turn my work. Okay. So now I'm on the knit side, fourth row. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to... Whoops, slip one. And I'm going to knit to one stitch before the gap, because there's a gap on the other side as well, which let me show you. Can you see right here? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Can you see that big gap there? Yeah. Whoops, oh. there it is. You can see that gap. So I'm going to knit to one stitch before that gap. There it is. And then I'm going to SSK. So remember that's slip slip, uh -huh. then put my needle through those two stitches, knit them together, and knit one. And then I'm going to turn my work. 
and then I'm just going to keep repeating like that and every time I go back and forth I'm taking in one more stitch remember the stitches either side that I forgot yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. I'm taking in one more stitch either side and I don't know if you can see this but can you see already I've started to develop this little bit that's sticking out I'm actually creating a bend yeah 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 yeah. does that make sense yeah. I'm creating a bend that is my heel I am turning the heel wow. and that's all you do because I've seen other ones where you've got this many stitches on a hook and that many stitches on a hook and then you do a bit here and then you have to re catch them all in and everything like no, that and that confused me this is really easy it's really easy it's the kind of thing I'm going to carry on with it now mm-hmm while we read messages. Okay, you do need to I'll read some messages then. <laughs> uh, hi, John and Stuart. Oh, I do. Hi, John and Stuart. Hi. Sitting, uh, knitting socks as we speak using Magic Loop Method. Uh -huh. Watching the show. Beautiful yarn, Stuart, from Anne in Cambridgeshire. Oh, hang on. There's another Anne here, is there? Uh, just wanted yeah, to show you oh, yeah, an example of the Magic Loop Method. Yeah. Sock number two on the go today, watching Yarn Lane. It must be the same Anne, mustn't it? It'd be too much of a coincidence, wouldn't it? And look how your knitting matches the knitting in our in our graphics. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, look, look. I'm a left-handed knitter and I'm absolutely hooked on making socks. Not awesome. perfect yet, but getting there. Thank you, Stuart, from Lynn. That's gorgeous. It's so cool, isn't it? Sock knitting is the best. It's so cool. And you get such kudos yeah. for doing it. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, hi, guys. I've knitted socks before using four needles. Now I'm using Stuart's uh, pattern and five needles. It's much easier and gives much better results from Lynn in Cumbria. It is easier, isn't it? I, I think, anyway. I think it just looks a bit daunting. When you first start, you've got all of those needles I going know, like that. I know, it does it does hello Stuart John does the yarn have a ply so I can use it with my patterns I already have thank you from Mary Northampton yeah it's a four ply yarn it's, just, it's a four ply yarn and sock yarn has a high twist in it which gives it extra strength as oh, well okay. mm -hmm. so ordinary four ply yarn wouldn't be very good for socks because although it's the right weight yeah but if she's got a pattern oh yeah 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 and for just use yours yeah, it's gonna be sure. even better isn't it absolutely right Loads of messages. Hi, Stuart and John. Just joined the programme. Missed the sock hits. Where can I get the pattern, please, from Debs? Right. Some are still available. All you need to do is buy a ball of yarn, right? Buy a ball of yarn. And while stock starts, you'll get a free pattern. However, go to the Stylecraft website. Go to, go to yarn. Head over heels. Scroll. Oh, hang on. There's all the maybe that was the uh, that maybe that was the issue that the lady had earlier. Yeah, loads of you obviously going to get your free patterns. So there's free patterns for socks, for hats, for mittens, for everything there. And what's that? Yeah, wait for us to finish. Calm down a bit, and you'll be all right. But you can get them. But hopefully, you'll get one while socks last. You'll get one in your in your um when you buy a ball of yarn. And also, and I can't guarantee that everyone will get one. Also, you'll all go into the. Uh, Virtual, I'll be announcing it tomorrow. The virtual, so buy any yarn lane, yarn lane product from today's show to win a Stylecraft sock kit plus a free sock pattern to everyone who shops at Yarn Lane today. Right, so this is the prize. One of you will win this. There's six balls of yarn, the six different colours, and uh, instructions in there. Oh, and there's needles in there, and there's needles in there. Beautiful. Yeah, it's got almost like a sort of. Um the story behind the colours, the inspiration, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So have you been to all those places? I've been to many of them, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, as soon as I can get back on a plane, well, I suppose I could now, but... Yeah, a bit busy a bit now. Busy. A, bit, a little bit busy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, there's only two Amazon left. And there are ten... Oh, what? Ten sarpas, and that's it. That's it. So two, what was it? Two of these, and how many in baskets? Oh, it's upside down. Sixteen in baskets, and the, uh, sorry, hang on, that, that was that one, and then the graphics for this one. Ten of these left, and thirty-one in baskets. They're all going to sell out. They are going to sell out. 
Right now, I've got some other kits here, but we need to just. Have you, are you, are you, do you need to do I'm something else? I'm almost there, yeah, but I just fine. want to. Can I just show yeah, of course, you of course, yeah. what I've been knitting and, and what's happened? So, look, it was a tube that I was knitting, but can you see now I'm sort of knitting this this triangle is appearing and this is where I'm doing those decreases and, and I've literally turned the heel. So I was knitting this way and now I'm knitting this way to create the, the heel. And that's all turning a heel is. Yep. See, Claire says, wow, no picking up of stitches along the heel, uh, along the flap. You see, I said that's what I'd seen. I hadn't ah, seen yours well, before. Well, once you've done this, what you'll then do, you can see we end up with this big sort of, you are then going to pick up stitches along here and along here and go back into the round. Okay. So you do pick up stitches. Yeah. But just turning the heel is the bit which, which seems to throw a lot of people. Uh, Jan said, I've made hoods on, knit, on knitted jackets like this, like this, like that heel turn. I should be able to do that. So glad you showed sure. how. Karen said, I started knitting socks at the beginning of lockdown. I used, oh, I've lost the, lost the message. Hang on. I used a mixture of small circular and five DPNs. Yeah. My family love, oh, I can't get the rest of your message up, Karen. I'm sorry. Oh, isn't that weird? My, my page is frozen. What does the rest of Karen's message say? Oh, she won't wear stock shop bought socks anymore because well, that was the loved same them. as my dad. I knit, knitted him some socks, and once he'd worn hand knitted socks, he wouldn't wear anything else. And he used to hand wash the socks oh, so really? that he could re wear them uh, until I knitted him another pair, Aww. and then that was all he ever wore. Um, uh, crochet, can we crochet? And lots of people asking if we can crochet with this. With yeah, the and there are patterns actually for crocheted socks, which look amazing. Mm. Um, they, uh, whenever I see crochet Oh yeah, and Nikki Pinovich, she yeah. does crocheted socks, doesn't she? I always want to be able to crochet when I see the projects, they're so cool. Well, you haven't got time to take up another hobby. No, I really haven't. <laughs> right, let me just introduce you. Can I move, can I show these three kits here? I'm just checking his chair. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I'm literally on the last row of right, doing okay. the heel. No, but no, you go ahead. No, yeah. no, I don't want to take away from your demo. <laughs> I can do this so literally. So by the time you've worked backwards and forwards, uh, look, it doesn't take long. I mean, it's like 15 minutes to turn the heel. I'm just on the last one. And eventually, you work in all of the stitches that you'd left on the right and the left hand side. I mean, you've reduced them down. Look, here we go. Slip, slip. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to knit those two That's together. Right. There we go. Um, and then I'll just knit that last, or purl that last row. Um, and then you're down to your heel. And that's literally all you have to do. It's so simple. It's so simple. Nothing to be afraid of. Whole collection has sold out. Whole collection has sold out now. What size DPNs do I need? For this, for my pattern, 2.5 millimeter. 2.5 millimeter. 2.5, I haven't got 2.5 millimeters here to show you today. Okay then, rightio. So, let me just introduce three other st uh, uh, style craft kits that we've got here. So this one is called Highland Heathers. Oh, I haven't got it upstairs, camera phone. This one's called Highland Heathers, where you can make a scarf and a hat. Right, so in the bundle, you do get your denim blue, your pale blue, and your oatmeal uh, yarn. You can make this hat, and you can make this gorgeous scarf. But I've then, here there's well, also actually. a different style of hat and different style of scarf in there. Oh, here we there go. There we go. Model I'll number one. On. So this, I mean, I did the show. It was the day after Boxing Day, and I fell in love with all of these patterns, and I went home and I knitted them all. Oh, wow. So this is actually Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I borrowed it back from him. But this one is um, like a broken rib. I love knitting this. It was so much fun. It's a very, you know, you soon switch off. You don't have to follow the pattern um, slavishly. And so then the, so the, the two paths in here are that one that you've got yep. there, and the other one is just looks like a ribbed. Oh, this ah. one is it? This one? Yeah, it this just one looks here. like a rib, John, but it's not. Oh, okay. It's oh god, it's well, it's called a broken rib. Right. Let me just show you. I really enjoyed making this. Really enjoyed making this. I haven't darned the ends in yet. 
I've still got to darn the ends in. I've got There's that still... colourway. I've got that colourway in the minion. So the one we're doing at the moment. But it's so is... chunky. Feel the weight. It's no, it's lovely. I just picked that gorgeous. one. It's gorgeous. Right, but it's chunky, but it's not heavy, heavy. I don't no, like a isn't. heavy, heavy scarf. So the one I'm doing, I'm showing you at the moment are these colourways. You can choose either of the hats or either of the scarves, but you get the two oatmeal, the one paler blue, and the one darker blue. And that's these cut. That's this colourway here. Right? Then I've also got it in the colourway that Stuart was just showing you there. Ooh. So you've got like a love it, uh, the, the, the kind of blue there, and then that really lovely kind of... This one's been the most popular on pre-order. And, and the model will show you that one now. Simpler and plainer hat as well. This is going to be really cool on the farm. Really useful. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, which model? That one or that one? Yeah. <laughs> There's how many left? There's only seven of those left. The colours are exquisite. Amazing, Look at aren't them they? There, yeah. And they're all heathery. Yes. Um, so they've all got a little bit of mottle in them. And, you know, I've really enjoyed getting ahead for winter. But we're wearing these right now. Oh, yes. yes, yes. They're, not, <laughs> they're not heavy, heavy, are no, they? No, they're not. So you can do, uh, whichever colour way you go for, you can either do the hat with the cable or the, the broken rib, do you say right, called? exactly. Or you could do <laughs> the, 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 either of the scarves as well to match that one or <coughs> that one. Hmm? Do I want a pom-pom maker, do you say? Oh, to do the bobble on the hat. You don't need to pump on make. You just need an old Kellogg's Corn Flex box. Other cereals are available. Don't you agree? I do, although... But. <laughs> or scrub that hat. But I finished knitting the hat. We just finished watching that fabulous drama about Christine Keeler and the whole profusion oh, yes, scandal. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We just finished that, and I'd finished the hat, but I hadn't done the bobble, and I thought, oh, I really want to finish it before I go to bed. And it literally took me 10 minutes with the pom-pom maker. With the pom-pom maker. And it would take me two hours without. Yeah, So, yeah. you know, you oh, pay no, your money and you... When we were children, pom-poms take weeks, because you yeah. keep winding a bit more around, winding a bit more around. Exactly. But this is lovely. If you've never done cabling before, it's a really simple cable on this hat. It's not just difficult it's only one little bit on the front and it's a really nice one and to make do. sure you go through we've got pom-pom makers on the website now this one here oh, oh questions hi both Stuart do you sell the fleece when the sheep are short oh from our sheep well <laughs> that's very sweet of you to ask we've got Welsh mountain sheep and to be honest with you their fleece is made for being on the top of a mountain it's really really rough Right. Um, and also, Charlie and I, well, more I, am not the best shearer, so you don't get a very nice fleece by the time we've finished with the poor. Oh. <laughs> we give them lots of treats when we finish. <laughs> Bless Can you get them. someone in? I think it's almost impossible, John. Oh, it's is almost it? Is it impossible. like a dying art? Well, no, it's not that, but we've only got 18 sheep. Oh, I see. And so it's not worth anyone's while to come. Come all the way. And up. also, everyone gets booked up. You know, you have to book a year in advance. And also, uh, for most farms, they'll have hundreds and hundreds of sheep. Like, zzz, yeah, zzz, 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 they come do. For 18, it'd be a bit of a... Yeah, I yeah. mean, Charlie, when Charlie was in, lived in Australia, you know, he saw the sheep shearers, and they can do hundreds a day mm. literally yeah. hundreds a day because they're paid per sheep yeah of course and they'll do like 90 seconds i know and then it comes sheep. off in one in and then one. the sheep looks immaculate and everything like that mm. amazing you could do different you could do like do hairstyles poodle ones that would things. be really cute we get into trouble anyway this one here so this now is a ladies uh well, it's not a bit ladies, is it? uh shawl and hat again there's two different styles of hat two different styles of shawl so the first colorway i'm doing is this one here which has your red your brown your green and your blue in it which is the one that Stuart's wearing right now but this was the first one I made because I think it's fantastic and I get so many compliments when I'm oh, wearing yeah. this now on the pattern it's shown very much as a shawl around the model's yes. back yeah and yeah I think if you wear it like that then yeah it's for a woman I can't imagine I would wear it but one like this I just you know it makes me feel cooler than I am what do you mean? It's just do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, oh no. That's... See, I'd be doing that. See, Popping you... down to Tesco's. I like the way that you're clutching your pearls. Oh, yeah. Anyway, 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 there's that colour. I've got to be quick, I've just realised the time. Oh. Then there's the other colourway here, which is the solid colourway, which you see on, on the picture on the front of the thing. So you've got the three, like, um, lovely, rich red ones and the soft pink one there. 
uh, in that bundle, 19.99, and there she is, there she is. And that's a beret in the pink. However, if you wanted to make the, um, exactly, the Morbini hat yeah, yeah. using the pink, you could. So you can mix and match. Of course. Yeah, of course. it's lovely. And I'm gonna make this so many times. I love this shawl, absolutely love right. it. Right, um, somebody says, I'm acrylic. gonna throw open the yeah. bag. It's 100% acrylic, I believe, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 100% premium acrylic. Mm. Uh, Wild but, salmon, it is. But what I would say, Susan, it feels amazing. It's really soft, really snuggly. It is premium acrylic. And Stylecraft make the UK's favourite acrylic yarn. Oh, do they? Yeah, they're multi-award winning. And it's for good reason. And the Highland Heathers, it feels really gorgeous. It's so lovely. Beautiful. Right, so all the Stuart's things have sold out. Very limited on all four of these kits now. Please check out your baskets. Please check out your baskets. Have a look on the website. Look on the Sewing Street website, not the Yarn Lane <coughs> website. I'm sorry I haven't read any more messages out. My iPad's got stuck. Right, shall we look at tomorrow's menu? Oh, it's still on the Yarn Lane website. Oh, yeah, yeah, there are other things on the Yarn Lane website if you want to go there to buy anything else. But today's show things are on the Sewing Street one. I'm presuming after today, they'll go on... Th well, there won't be any left. There's none left, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, Shall we see tomorrow's menu? So tomorrow, I've got Easter fabrics at 8 o'clock. Then I've got jelly roll baskets. Oh, and bags with Susie Duncan. Cushion kits. I've never had a cushion kit show before. Cushion kits at 10 o'clock. I hope we've got all the samples, Becky. 11 o'clock, we've got chain star quilt with Susie Duncan. She's busy making it now. And then at 12 o'clock now, you'll actually see Stuart at 12 o'clock tomorrow. He won't be here live. Oh. He won't be here live. Elliot has uh, edited the film of him with Liz uh, from Pinhole Quilting, and that's on at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Oh yes, oh yes, sorry. You've got to go to the Roman website now because Vix is on there modelling clothes and chatting on clothes. It's either called Roman Clothes or Roman or something like that. Go there, see that. Uh, uh, it's a Facebook page. You can look it on the website as well. And uh, have a really, really, really happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, thank you, Stuart. You've been brilliant. Oh, it's a pleasure. Usual. Thank you, John. Uh, when are you in next? Do we know when you're in? Uh, yeah, I mean... Um, um, she's in Tuesday, tuned. Wednesday, about the 24th, 25th, something like that. Next week. Next week, yes. <laughs> yes, week. yes. All right, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you for your company. Make sure you check out your bicycle and everything. Uh, especially, there's about four of my panels left that haven't been checked out. So go and do that now. I will see you in the morning at 8 o'clock. Do not be late.